Hello and welcome to Inside Motors. Let's pose a question. When is a car not a car? Basically, when it's a heap of junk like this that won't start. Let's take a look. Look at that. Absolutely nothing. What we need now is a nice friendly neighbour to give us a jump start. See if we can find one. Right, we've given Stephen a call and he should be on his way now to give us a jump. Oh, look, here he is now. Here you jump. Oh, cheers. Ah. Stephen, can you open your bonnet? There we are, lovely. And this is the item here that's causing us all the problem. We've got the Duff battery in the Peugeot. We've got a good battery in the Ford. We're going to set a jump leads. Right, we'll just get these unraveled it's almost like knitting this so keep those two separated on the ground and connect them up to your duff battery first put the black one to the earth the red one to the live and then go to your car with the power, connect the earth up, and just hang on to the power. Right, Steve, can you start her up? Now, when you don't have vehicle running, now's the time to connect five. With a little plastic clip, causing you a problem. Right, now this burger should start. Go see if it will. Right, now we've got the two batteries lined up. You can see all the lights on the dash are now are lit. And with it being a diesel, I've just got to wait a little bit until the heater plugs have done the bit. The heater plug light's gone out, and there we are. What a difference that makes. Now I'm going to get out and disconnect these uh, battery leads and we'll take it into the garage, test the alternator, test the battery, make sure that's the problem and get it fixed. Right, now we've got these cars started, let's get rid of these battery leads. Take them off the Peugeot first, keep them well separated and then we'll take them off this Ford. Right, we're finished with the Ford now. Thanks a lot, Steve. See you later on that. Welcome back to the garage. We brought the car in. We've got it started. While the engine's still running, I'm just going to test the alternator, make sure it is the battery, which is what we suspected, and not the alternator. Get the bonnet up, and I'll show you how to do that. Right, I'll get my voltmeter. We'll just connect the voltmeter across the battery. There we go, about 14.3 volts, which is just about what it should be. So, as we suspected, it is a battery problem and not an alternator. Very simple job to fix, 
Let's get on with it, stick a new battery on this. We've turned the engine off so we can change the battery. Just need to go and get some tools so I can take it off. Okay. What we need is 10 millimeter socket extension and ratchet and a 10 millimeter spanner which should be there it is. Right, there's the old battery. Here's the new. Let's get it fitted. Right, plonk it straight in to the position the old one came out of. Clear some cables out of the way. First job is to refit the battery clamp. Do the positive first. Again, for safety reasons, because without the earth strap connected, we won't get any sparks with the metal tools. Tighten it up, put everything away, drop the bonnet. There we go. Hey presto, we've now got a car that starts. Cheers.